Hello and welcome. I'm Rebel Knight Fox and I'm a DVD nurse main who streams live over on Twitch on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. If you want to catch me live, check out the link below. And today we're going to be looking at a salty trio that I came up against off stream. One of them wasn't particularly happy with the way that the game went and used that as an opportunity to make personal digs at myself, all because of the result of a video game. So stick around and we'll have a look at what went down. <laughs> So earlier today, I happened to be playing some games off stream to try and rack up some more BP to unlock more perks on more killers. Now, whenever I'm off stream, if I do notice I'm coming up against TTVs, I do hit the record button because you just never know what you're going to encounter. And I just want to make a quick statement in regards to the TTVs involved. I will be blurring out the TTVs names throughout the footage. You know, I don't want to encourage people to ever go over to their streams and give them any general nastiness at all. It's not what I'm about. It's not what the community is about. And it's not something that I want to encourage. And from my own personal stance, if you've ever visited one of my streams, you'll know exactly what my DVD mindset is and my views around the game in general. And you'll know that I'm of the mindset that both survivors and killers can play the game however they like, in whatever manner they like, in whatever way that they find fun, using and doing whatever they want within the realms of the game. I do believe that any in-game mechanics in DVD are not toxic, despite the fact that a majority of people do think this. The only time toxicity becomes involved, in my opinion, is when things get personal in post-game chat, or people decide to, you know, verbally assault someone live on stream and make derogatory comments about them. Within the realms of the game, everything's acceptable. It's just when you start to make it personal and away from a video game, that's when it stops becoming a video game. And I just wanted to make that clear in this first TTV video, just so I don't have to repeat this down the line. If anyone in future wants to know my thoughts about DBD or the community in general, you can ask me live on my streams, or I'll just link you to this video in the end anyway. But blowing past all that, today I was playing some games as Bubba, and I came up against two TTVs that happened to have a friend in as a third so it was a trio and one of the TTVs was completely chilled throughout and had a very very good mindset and just took the game for what it was however I do just want to note that with the other TTV due to the fact that they had discord voice enabled and their audio levels were very very similar it's very very hard to differentiate which of the male voices is actually the streamer and which one is the third party friend and so it's kind of hard to tell if it's actually the streamer or the third party friend that's the one that kicks off and this is part of the reason why i wanted to blur the names out because obviously if it isn't the streamer i don't want anyone to go in there with any hatred anyway and even regardless of that, I wouldn't want that to be the case. Either way, if you know me, you'll know that I'm generally a nurse main and struggle with any killer that has to know loops. But I don't mind playing Bubba or Oni due to the insta downs and they can be quite a funny sign that I enjoy. And at the start of this game, I was playing very poorly. I wasn't paying very much attention and the survivors were pathing very, very well to take advantage of the fact that I was playing poorly. So fair play to them. They've done very well at the start of the game. But as the game goes on, it gets to a point where I realize that they've got two gens left to do, and I've only got myself one hook. Yeah, I told you I played bad. So as any killer main will know, at this point, I need to get someone out of the game to turn the control back into my favor. And I will cut into this video to give a chat as it goes on. But to give a summary, I hook one survivor after getting my first hook and notice I only get two people on barbecue. Now they're unaware that I've got barbecue at this point, so I know that that means that the last person has to be close by. I find them and end their chase to burn down some hook time whilst the other two survivors sit on the gen. By the time a third survivor comes over to help, I've already downed the second survivor. And at this point, Point, I just pick them off one by one as they try to dive the hook in desperation. Now, obviously against the bobber, this misplay ends up bagging me a 4k out of literally nothing. But after the game, one of them checks out my channel and decides to make derogatory comments about myself. But enough chit chat for now. Have a look yourself and see what happens. Between six and seven till like two, three. And like, honestly, when I walk in and like people try and talk to me, I'm like, honestly, please just fuck right off. Like, do not speak to me. Hi. Hi. No lethal pursuer. Well, so, what exactly does the clairvoyance do? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, mate. Cleans that open. Get some vision over things. That's a bob. Oh! I'm fucked. Mm -hmm. I'm not. <laughs> Crashed. There's a totem in the little uh, garden. The little greenhouse. You know what I'm about, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, 
seconds on my star baby. <gasps> There's no power. Oh, perfect. Yeah, bring him right to me. Sounds babes. <laughs> Fuck, you know. We're good. Never mind. He's got agitation. Let's see it. Off as well. Ross, fuck up. Jar of soy loops. We love it, Tunnel. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> Just drop it in silence with Cam Spirit is so funny. <laughs> right, crawl out, crawl out, crawl out. Not that way, not towards the rock. Oh my god. Sorry. It's fine. It's only when you fully recovered. 50%. I'm keeping him distracted. I'm trying my best anyway. You're doing great, honey. Not instantly switching. Yes. Very surprised. It was on me. But yes, I'm asleep. I'll talk to you later. Thank you so much for the work, and I hope you have a really, really good sleep tonight. <laughs> I did two super early shifts once first. Oh my god, I thought that was Victor running to me, but it was Meg. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, perfect. <laughs> He's got fucking day. light board, I think. I was such a bitch. I'm I didn't get fired. Karen's didn't stand a chance. We love that, Victor. No, honestly. Because I was looking at chat and it was just the corner of my eye and I was like, nah, what the actual fuck is this? Oi, he's actually crazy. I'm in my nightclub office and the agency office on one area of the map. Be confusing me for from time to time. Icons are also similar. Can you not change them? Like, obviously, I, I have like no idea how GTA works. Vicky will grow up. <laughs> yeah. Who's um near me? Hey. If you just Killer. unhook, because I think you'll think I'd like this eye soon. I think I could just unbreak it all up. Ooh. I can come. No BT though. Oh no. Oh. Do you not see that on Kindred? I can see him shaking. Oh! Uh, he's actually a camper. Fucking weirdo. Oh. Our game is broken. No, oh, that's not here. very good. To be honest, I barely started playing that again after seven years, so I'll have lost in some of the updates from Pink. That's I'm sure you'll get it though. Fucking hell. Darth Ellipso. You guys might be able to. 4%. Maybe. We can hope. One and done. One and done.
This will make them worth a cent. I mean, this whole down to me. <laughs> Of course I'm he will is brother. Oh, it's actually a TTV. I swear to fuck if it's that bitch again. It's actually a TTV. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about, Nicole? Yeah, I do know who you're about, but it's, it's not even them. Like, it's actually. Who? Uh, Rebel Night Fox. Are they live? No, of course not. I'm not Bubba. <laughs> So I thought I just wanted to address what you just said there, and it's it's something that I come across that a lot of survivors seem to have this perception that TTVs only play Bubba when they're not on stream. Now, if you've ever been on my stream, you know that I play Bubba even when I'm on the stream. It's just a killer that I find fun. But a lot of survivors get bothered by Bubba, and especially when I happen to be off stream at the time, they seem to think that, oh, well, he plays a nurse whenever he's live, but he wants to be sweaty and play bubble when he's, ever he's off stream the game's just not gone his way and he's just upset about it and now he's just starting to vent and this is where it begins to get a bit personal because now he's looking over my channel um and he makes a comment about one of my videos uh, he said that he sees a clip where i make a statement um that to do to do revolting essentially and the fact that i didn't get a grab and i've looked over my recent clips and I can't find it, so I'm assuming it must be an old clip back before I had this sort of eight month break that I had. Um, and if it is an old clip, it's back when I was still very much learning DVD and I was very, very brand new to the game. And so, yeah, I probably don't know everything about vaults and playing a nurse vaults don't really typically come to me that often. So it's not a bit of information I'm going to know, but, you know, it's, it's one of them. But... He uses it as uh, essentially a way to just call me dumb and attack my t intelligence, which I just find strange. I don't know, but <laughs> but yeah, it just it spirals from there. Apparently, an educated nursemaid. That bitch stop texting my phone. It's okay, but we're only in it for the mean boats. Exactly. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Are we doing a nib? Uh, yeah, not fucking random. Be <laughs> <sighs> hey, random. Oh, well, Aston is angry on the keyboard. Hmm. Um, to who? Fuck. Who, what, why, where, when? Oh, it was me that put salty lips on. Twins. Amy, choose my survivor. Nancy. When, as an. <laughs> it's not it's not fucking smart at all because I've just gone to one of his fucking old clips and it's like I should have grabbed her then while well, like she's fast farting you can't grab in a fast fart animation. You can't grab in a medium or a slow. Mm -hmm. <sighs> right, it's fucking dumb. He's dumb Right, anyway. Um we're doing that again? No. <laughs> Come on, it's look, we got a fucking no. camp in Bubba. Oh. Bruh. I'm going to do a fun build. What's your fun build? Power struggle tenacity. Oh, okay. What the fuck? What? Like, what the actual fuck? What? 
Right, so it's okay for you to want to do fucking random builds all the time, but when I want to do my power struggle build, it's... Oh, fuck. I didn't say that. That's your attitude, though. Right. You know what? I'll just uh, dip and play solo. What do you mean? What? Bruh. What? Bruh. Uh, okay. And so you can see what's just happened at the end there. So the guys spatted on about my channel and about me making comments about my intelligence levels in, in regards to DVD itself or knowledge of the game, which like I said, I'm pretty sure the clip he's found is from a while ago because I, I did look through my recent clips since I've been back streaming and I, I couldn't find where I said that. So I'm assuming it's one of the older ones. I didn't go that far back. Um, but yeah, so all in all, he's sort of gone off on a tangent and, uh, you know, the, uh, the other streamer, like I said, has been chilled throughout the game and had a really good mindset and just took the game for what it was. Um, but then when it comes then I just, I happen to just sort of watch on and to see how the, the mindset affected them going forward. Um, in the fact that they've, they've taken that game really badly. Um, and I mean, as you, as you can see, it wasn't necessarily anything that I did wrong in terms of like i said in terms of the game i don't believe there's anything toxic within dvd i had to change the the control of the game i knew there was a second survivor around me i down them the third one comes along uh, i down them because they're now starting to panic because they need to get this person off hook because it happens to be one of them i believe um and not the random and so they're starting to dive bomb hook as i down the third one i happen to see faint faint scratch marks uh, on the main building so i know that the other one is coming as well so i down them and the game's over um and now that's that's a gigantic misplay by them but this guy has taken it the wrong way and he started to uh you know personally attack me um but then they go and start going into the next game and he's the other stream i believe it is um mentions the the build they're gonna start running next and this guy i didn't perfectly hear what he said because it's sort of in a muddle of conversation but I, the other streamer basically says that he um makes a negative comment towards the build they're going to use as if like oh for god's sake why are you going to use that build and so the other streamer's like well hold on you you wanted to run these builds um they do, they have a big debate about well not not big a small debate about the builds but it obviously bothers the other streamer and i, I would imagine it's probably something that this guy does often because they instantly back out of the lobby and decide to go and play solo rather than playing with their friends. Um, and the fact that they've done that so quick means that this, this person must do this often. And so I can only imagine it's after games like this where they, they get upset with how the game's gone. And then they're suddenly in a negative mindset because they've, they've taken the game too seriously essentially. Um, and not just taking it for what it is. And now it's become an attack on their friends as well and they're making comments about their friends that's upsetting the the people they're playing with and it's just like if you're gonna let your mindset affect you that much so then it starts affecting the people you're playing with you're kind of just destroying the people around you and the environment that you're in um and it's why it's a bit upsetting to see people with this sort of mindset like i said i've got no issues with the way people play and the choices they make and stuff like that what they want to do in the game is entirely up for them and i have i've never had a problem recently like since i've come back to beat dvd with people doing the whole teabag and stuff and the, the the flashlight clicking it does it's not something that bothers me um people are more and more than entitled to do what they want in the game but it's just when it becomes a bit personal after the game that it starts to get into the realms of toxic um and especially when it starts to affect other people even the people you're playing with which is is i find strange because you know you you may play with that person again and all in all, they're probably going to forget about this game within hours anyway. So the fact that they've let them get get to that stage, um, you know, it's just, it's a bit strange. But I hope you enjoyed the game anyway. Like I said, it wasn't a great game for me. I played very bad at the beginning. I'm not a uh, Bubba player by any means or any like fantastic Bubba. Nurse is definitely where my strength is at. But I hope you uh, enjoyed this. Just sort of insight into some streamers that I've come up against now. Um, and I will be looking to do more of these videos and sort of calling out these people. Obviously, I'll, I'll keep continuing to blow out the names. I don't want to incite hatred upon anyone at all or even invite the opportunity that someone who doesn't necessarily watch my stuff could go in there and say anything. Uh, I want to avoid that as best I can. 
but yeah i will definitely start to sort of call out these people going forward i have recently noticed a sort of change in mindset towards the community i'm not noticing this come up as often as it used to when i first started playing dvd um but i will start to to produce these videos just as more just to highlight the people that personally attack it and take the game a bit too seriously i think it's just um it's it's interesting i've always enjoyed the videos like that uh, and i always find it interesting to look at it and take a step back after the game's sort of done and see why they got to that stage or why they said what they did i know there's been a lot of talking in this one but it is my first one and there's a lot of things that i sort of wanted to go over uh, and explain like to do with my mindset and the way i feel about dvd and that way i just don't have to do it in future um but if you do like the content like i said if you can hit that like and subscribe that i very much appreciate that it really really helps me out um i will be doing more of the how to nurse me videos coming up soon and i've got a few more things in the background that i'm working on as well but if you uh, do want to catch me live head over to twitch and hit me up at redable night fox and i'll catch you all again in the next one